Okay, I had a problem. I told about it before. I'm out of my high blood pressure pills. I had enough for the cruise. And then when I got home, I was supposed to run to the store, the pharmacy and get them. But I was too exhausted. I thought, I'll just do it tomorrow and take one right then when I get it. Well, that didn't work out. I don't remember why. And then the pharmacy, it was Saturday and the pharmacy closed at two o'clock on Saturdays and I forgot. I went at five because usually they're open till seven. So then that would mean Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no pills, high blood pressure pills. So I am going, I had this brainy idea that I am going to video everything from Timu that I use in a day that I purchased from them. So this is the first thing. Because I'm having a headache and I need my high blood pressure pill. So I'm going to be taking my high blood pressure. I mean, my it's not going to be high. I just know it's not. But I'm going to be taking my blood pressure with the cuff I bought from Timu. Okay. First thing in the morning. And this is what I'm doing. Okay, you have to hold your wrist like this. All right, I have to stop it. I'm, I can't talk and I can't do it at the same time. So just, I'm going to turn it on and stop this and then I'll see what it is. All right. It is 123 over a 108. Oh no, I mean, it's 153 over 108. Let's see what the little guide says. The top one has to be less than 130, and it's not. And the bottom one is supposed to be less than 85, and it's not. So, if it's 130 over 139, high normal. If it's over 140, I have hypertension. And if it's more than 90 on the bottom, mine's 108. I'm going to die before morning. Makes me so mad. My doctor was out of town. There was no way I could get him refilled. And now it's my fault because I forgot. No wonder I have a headache. So I guess I'm just going to have to... I probably won't die yet. And the first thing in the morning, go get it. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to... I got hooked up from Timu is the oximeter to try Jamie's oxygen. I'll try mine right now. This is only $1.34. And you just, I just put new batteries in it. Look how bright and pretty it is. It's a health meter So we'll see what my oxygen is. Ninety-six, so I'm good there. My oxygen's good. It's just that I have a little headache from my high blood pressure. So I wish I knew someone who took it that I could go borrow one pill from. Anyway, it's happened to me before when I was in the hospital. Even I had really low blood pressure after surgery. So they said, don't take it for a couple of days. So I didn't. And it got affected right away. So anyway, now I know why I have a headache. So if you never hear from me again, well, this won't even be published if you never hear from me again. And guess what? When I was doing my blood pressure, I'm using my beautiful Timu pillow for the rest. So that was another thing. Another thing from Timu is this cover that's supposed to glow in the dark, but it doesn't. But this one, the green one, does glow in the dark. You say, oh, you have two remotes for your TV? No, I have five. I have two here, two over there, and one for Jamie. Because you know what? If I don't ever want to be without a remote... And they get lost. But these hooks are the best things in the world.
to hang them right here by my bed and then I don't lose them. Okay, I'll record the next thing that I use from Timu and make a whole video of things that I bought from Timu that I use every day. One more thing, my recharging cord from Timu. I bet you guys are using one too from Timu. So I got to plug it in. And then I have something else because remember I said I had a headache. Look what I did to my headache pills. I bedazzled them. So I'm going to be taking some of those next. All right. What am I using next today from Timu? Yep, my orange shoes. I wish they weren't so fluorescent orange. Wearing my new orange shirt from Timu. A little big, but I like it. I'm wearing it. See? And I am mailing packages today. Tissue box packages. So I am using my mailer things that I bought from Timu. And the stationery and stickers. And even my ones that I had special printed. Remember, I gave a lesson a while back on do what matters most. I need to give it again for all the new people. Um, it's just a quick little story about how this man used to be an athlete and vital and did everything. And now he's old and can't in a wheelchair and can't do anything. And a man asked him, you know, how do you handle life now that you can't do anything much? And he said, I realized that in my pain with my body breaking down, I do what matters most. And I think if every one of us would put that first in our decisions of what we would do, that we would make better choices and decisions. So do what matters most. And then I use my stamper that has my address and material mom thing. So I used all of these things from things I bought from Timu and my labels. I'm using a lot of them. I'm going to have to whittle them down. There it is. Material Mom label. Because I'm mailing the tissue, clean, the toilet tissue covers. And the winners of the toilet tissue covers I'm mailing today Gina Harris and Susan Bennett in Canada. She's the first one package I think I've mailed to Canada. And so she's going to get a light pink one. And Gina Harris is getting a gray and white one. So I'm finding that I'm getting some a lot of people that like these. So um, once again, if you want the small toilet tissue covers that look like a barrel chair, email me, angebert405 at gmail, and I will put you on the list to get one and tell me what color and give me your address. Because I don't have very good luck when I say enter your name, and then if you win, you send me your address, and then I say who the winner is. I never get the address, so just send me your address first so that when you win, I can just mail it ahead. So I'm mailing four of those winner things today. Birthday card to two of my granddaughters. Got to go to the bank, the post office, and get my prescriptions. I got to tell you another quick story. Um, I was out of my high blood pressure pill, you know, and so... <clears throat> I went three days and I was getting a headache last night. Well, my granddaughter said, whenever I get a headache, I had to check my blood pressure. So I did. And it was 150 over, I don't know. Anyway, it was high and bad for me. So my granddaughter had said that she had been on high blood pressure. So I called her and said, Autumn, do you have any of those? I just need one pill for tomorrow. Do you have any high, that blood pressure medicine? And she did. She had a few. And then I also sold, told my son. And so my son knew somebody that was on it. I just needed one pill. They both came through running up here, giving me the pills. 
they do not want me to have a stroke because they know they might have to take care of me. No, but I felt the love from them because they came to my rescue. So now I'm going to go get my real prescription. And I checked my blood pressure again with my Timu. And it's down. It's not like it usually is, but it's going down. So I'm not going to have a stroke and I don't have a headache. All right. I'm keeping you posted all day today, showing you what Timu products that I use every day. One more thing I did use too. For my scaly skin, my lotion that's copy bum bum cream. I like it. Okay, bye. What am I doing now? I am hemming a person's pants. I am using the ruler from Timu and the favorite pin cushion I bought from Timu. And I will be using the seam ripper. So, once again, I grab Timu's tools. Look at how long the pants are, and we have to hem it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna stitch right here, and then this will come down, and it will be the perfect length. All right, what do I use every day that I bought from Timu? All right, I'm getting ready for bed now. And so, my brush, my favorite brush from Timu, it contours the hair. If you have a tender head, it may not be good for you. And one of them broke, but they were so cheap, I've just bought another one. But I, you know, I love, I don't, I don't know if I have thick hair or not, but it goes through my hair really nice. And I love how it feels on my scalp. So every night I brush my hair and I cannot sleep with my hair down my back and on my neck. So what do I do? Every night I pin it up like this. And I go around and round and I use my favorite Timu clip and I pin my hair up. I'm sure you guys do all that too. Okay. Then I use my favorite Timu toothbrush. I feel golden princess with it. And I love to use purple toothpaste. I don't use it all the time. But I use it a lot. You're not supposed to get it wet. I didn't. So. Okay, I usually brush longer, but I don't want to bore you. I love my purple, I mean, my purple toothpaste with my darling silver. They come in gold too. Toothbrushes. Then I love this. Have you, do you have one of these? I have one over here that is plug-in. But I love this. This one is UBSC cord. UCBS. UBC plug-in. Uh, I got to get that down what it really is. It plugs in with a charging cord right here. Open it and you charge it in there. Okay, don't turn it on. You put it in your mouth first or it will spray everywhere. I did that before. And it can be soft, normal, or pulse. Anyway, it just spray it in between your teeth like that. Love it. My Timu pretty towel here. And I also have my Timu cute little dress towel. I love it too. It's darling. 
I need to wash it probably. Okay, then I always have a drink by my bed for water. And of course I use the big 40 ounce Stanley because I want to be sure to wake up five times a night to go to the bathroom. I always like to rinse out my cup and straw before I fill them. So then I use my Timu silicone ice cube trays because I like cold water. Okay, so I use these all day and I'll refill them right then and put them in my freezer. And I also have this one from Timu and I love this size for my smaller oh. jars. Anyway, I put it by my bed because I probably snore. I have sleep apnea and snore and make racket. So I need a drink through the night. And in my earlier days, I would just have a glass of water. And then until I drank my first earwig, then I decided I need a lid on my drink. So the Stanley's perfect for that. But I'm not carrying this big old thing around every day, all over the place. 40 ounces weighs a lot. Maybe I do need it for my arms, but by my bed, it's perfect. All right, then I have my Timu towel robe. It's like a towel, but it has sleeves, little sleeves. So like I get in and out of the bath, I always put it on. It just ties around, has a pocket. I have two of them because I knew it was my favorite thing. One in the wash, one in the using. And then I use my favorite Timu sponge to wash my face. And now look at my face. I don't have pimples. I don't have splotches or acne. Oh, what kind of soap do you use? Guess what? I don't use soap on my face. Once in a while in the bathtub, in the shower. But usually I just use this to get the makeup off. And for some reason, this works better than a towel for getting your makeup off. They come in different colors. They're called a clean sponge. Now I don't use this sponge for anything else. I don't use it to clean the sink. I don't use it to wash my body out elsewhere. It's only for my face. So usually I hide it because I can see some grandchildren, some husband, coming in here, taking this sponge and washing the toilet or something with it. Of course, nobody washes the toilet in here except me, darn it. Nobody washes anything in my bathroom except me. And I need, when I came home after a month, my toilet, nobody used it the whole month and it was dirty. I was, couldn't wait to wash it. I washed it before I left. So things get dirty when you're not even here. Now, I don't know if it removes your waterproof mascara or eyeliner, but I'm talking about your face makeup. Now, why do we need to get the makeup off our face at night? There's only one reason, I'll tell you. It gets on your pillowcase. <laughs> I don't want makeup on my pretty pillowcase. Gotta wash your face. And it does feel really good. Anyway, I have several of these that I bought ahead of time. I'll show you the white one. I like this green. I think some of them don't have this nappy stuff on them. Like this one is plain. I like the nappy stuff better. I have a pink one. But I'm afraid they're not going to make them anymore. So I ordered a whole bunch of them. Anyway, and if you do not squeeze it, and what I do is, I have palm olive soap in my bathroom because I need to wash dishes and stuff up here sometimes. But I wash my sponge with the soap. Very good. Because, you know, it's just a sponge inside there. And I don't want it to be stinky and gross for my face. 
Have you ever washed your face with a stinky rag? Horrible experience. So, anyway, love these from Timu. Then I put it up to dry it. I gotta do it again, sorry. Because I washed my face again. Okay, and you wring it out good. Especially if you live in a humid place. You want it to dry. And then I hang it here. And I have this knife in my bathroom from Timu. Because sometimes I need to cut things. So I have my knife. Maybe it's for protection. I'm going to hang this right here on my knife. All right, now. Is there anything else I was going to tell you in my bathroom that I use from Timu? Well, I have this thing here I need to do. Do you know what this is? For my plants. I laid it here because I need to water my plants. And you fill this with water. This is what I did for the month. I have my plants in my bedroom. I forgot what they're called, but they're real hardy. They don't need much water or sunlight or anything. But uh, you fill these with water. You put them in your plant. And when the plant is dry, I mean wet, the water one doesn't need to come out. But when the dirt is dry, it comes out and waters your plant slowly. See? So then it is great when you're gone because it will water them like in a week or two later. So I like that. Jamie thinks they're stupid. But, you know, we don't always have to do what our husband says. We can do what we want to do. So I do. Okay, and I have these are my favorite rags for the bathroom and the kitchen to wash my sink and everything. And they, so I always get them when they're the cheapest. So if something on them is horrible, no problem. Throw it away. So I like them. And this is what I clean my sink and tub with and everything. And so I, I like to clean all the counters off and everything before Jamie comes to bed because he tends to complain a bit if I have stuff everywhere. He doesn't understand how come women have more stuff than men. And now I'll show you something else. Because, you know, you have to wash these periodically. <laughs> you try to wash them every day. So, I bought this cleaner thing. I don't know really what it's for. What you're supposed to clean with it. But I like it. Because, especially for the lid cleaning. That's why I have my palm olive. Whatever soap this is. Because this gets in here. To clean and I have to clean this every day or you know you'll get sick with COVID colds going around all the grandkids so this works great for in this stuff and then I always clean the holes at the top everything all right then I have this tool and it also is good for cleaning in here. This little brush. Because I don't know about you, but I can't stick my hand in the bottom. Maybe that's why people like Stanley's, because they can reach to the bottom. The other thing I found that is wonderful is this. Now they say it's to clean your toes. Now, I don't have a problem cleaning my toes. All I do is reach down there. Some people do, so they need this. If you watch Dr. Foot Doctor from Washington, D.C., he lives there. I watch his show. Some of his patients, they need one of these because they have, like, toe jam that you would not believe. It's quite entertaining. So I bought one, and I said, who wants one? And Trevor said, I want it. That will clean my mug out perfect, whatever you call these. And it does. So this one is better than this one. But this one cleans the drain really good. If you Now, I don't want to use the drain one for my mug one. Don't get your brushes mixed up. But look how perfect it is. And at the top has this, so it gets in the corners. Clean that good so you won't be sick. Winter's coming. Sick season's coming. So, 
I clean these at night before I go to bed, so in the morning, I'll have a fresh one. Nothing's worse than getting up and you want to fix your daily drink and your mug's dirty. You got to wash it. So, and don't put the lid on when it's wet or you open it up and it stinks. So, over here, I have coming down this little pad thing, pink thing here. And this is where I put my stuff to dry. Hairbrush goes in here. Always put everything back. Then you won't have a mess. Well, you know, that's supposed to work that way. Rarely does it. And I have a hook there. And then I feel, feel, feel. No, I don't feel them. I feel my ice cream trays. So in the morning, I will have plenty of ice. Because, heaven forbid, if you go to fix your drink and you don't have any ice, you just want to cry and you want to blame somebody. But you know it's your own self to blame because no one else is going to do it. Well, Jamie doesn't ever use uh, He has the ice machine downstairs. But in the winter, I don't think he uses ice. I don't know what he does. So, fill those. I have my water plant thing. Get my glasses. I'm going to come back and finish doing this on my teeth and use my peppermint toothpaste. I think it makes you go to sleep better. Okay, so those are some of the bathroom things that I do every night. I remember my Grandma Golden. She was the most wonderful lady and clean and perfect. You know, she, nothing in her house was dirty. She only had one child, though. But she always would say, Oh, I hate getting ready for bed. I wish somebody would get me ready for bed. Why did she say that? Because she had such a big routine to get to bed. And she had partials, and she'd take them out and spend an hour brushing them and and do putting her hair in rollers and... I don't know what all she did, but putting lotion everywhere. I don't know if she took a shower at night or whatever. Took her forever. And then she'd always dip into mentholatum, put it in her nose, put it all on her lips. So if I smell mentholatum and soap, that's my grandma going to bed and peppermint toothpaste. My grandma's going to bed. That's the smell. But I'd, I love to do it too. Jamie does not want mentholatum in his nose. But I like it. No, it's his lips. He doesn't want it on his lips. So I put it on and then I kiss him. Because, you know, I'm trying to get him to like it. <laughs> so, and I remember when Autumn was little, she'd sleep with us a lot and spend the night. And so I would always get the mentholatum out. And little children, let them smell it. And they, oh, they hate it. But I would always go... <laughs> Oh, smell this. It smells so good. Well, at first she didn't believe me, but I would do it all the time. It smells so good. And then she'd smell it. And she, I got her believing it smelled so good, too. So then she would put it in her nose and on her lips, too. And then Jamie was <laughs> laying there one night. She takes a big old gob of it on her little fingernail and just goes right up Jamie's nose with it. <laughs> And that went clear. Her finger was little, you know. It went clear up in his brain. And we still laugh at that, at the mentholatum up in his brain. And he's like, whoa. <laughs> it's so funny. But anyway, I love mentholatum. I always have to have it on hand. All right. Now, that is just a few things I use of Timu every day. I didn't record too much this afternoon because... Macy came over, and I hadn't seen the kids yet from being home from my trip. So I had to go visiting Trevor's and take all the kids and Hillary, Kyler, and Credence's birthday. And had to take, do the party thing. I go to the bank and get the money, get my prescription. Oh, I have to tell you about my prescription. It ran out, but Autumn had some pills, you know, and Chad brought me one. Anyway, so I was getting by. But what... The pharmacist, I about cried because I said, I need my pills, my real pills. So they called, but then 
they said, go in and talk to the doctor. I said, I already did that. So anyway, I had to do it again. So I went in there telling him, I'm going to die if you don't give me my pills. I'm going to have a stroke. So anyway, she said, I'll tell the doctor and I'll call you. So she called me. Well, they go, you haven't been in since 2020 and we need you to come in to verify you need these high blood pressure pills. Well, I said, I know I do because I didn't take it for three days and my blood pressure started going up again. Of course I need them. So anyway, they go, well, the doctor wants to see you before he renews your prescription, but he's giving you a 30 day supply and that will give you time to get in here. And I said, okay, make an appointment for me. November 30th is the first time I can come in. Or, oh no, it's November 21st. Okay, make that appointment for me. I said, but I'm not sick. I only used to go to the doctor when I'm sick or I need something. And I said, I'm not sick a bit. Nothing's wrong with me. They go, well, he still wants to see you. Well, no wonder the doctors are so busy and you can't get in when they have well people going in all the time. So anyway, I guess I'll go visit with my doctor. It's not going to take very long, but he probably wants to do blood work. And then he'll probably tell me, yes, you are diabetic because I am borderline diabetic, they told me. So um, I'll probably have to have the blood work. They'll probably want to have the osteoporosis test to see if I have that. If you don't get the test, then it's okay. You don't have it. You don't know you have it, so you don't have it. Till you break something, and then you'll know, yes, I have osteoporosis, but I don't think I do. I don't think I have anything wrong with me. Before my hip surgery, they tested me for heart by heart, and everything was fine. So I just have to have high blood pressure. Oh, and you won't believe this. Here's what Jamie said. Um, we're having a night talk show tonight here. He goes, well, why is your blood pressure high? I said, because I'm not, I don't have my pills. And he goes, well, is there a reason? I said, no, there's no, it's just because I need, I don't have high blood pressure. I need the pills. Well, you took them all, didn't you? I said, yes, I don't have it anymore. That's why I have high blood pressure. I said, I, Jamie, just because I finished the prescription doesn't mean I'm better. You got to, I have to take it for life or I'll have high blood pressure. So he thought that that's probably why he's not taking his because he took the whole bottle and then he thinks he's okay. The pill does not cure your high blood pressure. So anyway, I made an appointment for him too. He needs to go back to his doctor, Gonzalez, his heart doctor, because I think he should be taking, I'll take his high, I'll take his blood pressure and see if it's high. Maybe he doesn't have it. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I just know about me. So anyway, um, I got to go to the doctor in a month. I love going. I'm not taking my clothes off. There's no reason that he needs to see me naked. I'm not pregnant. So that's my rule. Autumn goes, why? I said, because. You know, I had seven babies. You know how much I had to be naked in front of seven different doctors and stuff? I'm not getting naked. So, and I found out if you stand up to those doctors, they just back right down. Like, if you don't want to do something, you don't have to. And in my early days, one time I was pregnant with one baby and I was due and sitting on that table with a towel, you know, the cloth over my lap, naked. The top, I had sh my shirt on still, but no bottoms, because he's going to do a pelvic, see if I was dilating, because I was due. Well, he didn't come in. He didn't come in. I sat there for like over an hour. I was about crying, because I was hurting so bad. If that happened to me at my age now, I would get up and leave. You don't have time to see me. I don't. I, it hurts too bad to sit there waiting. You can see me later. But no, I sat there just waiting and waiting. And now I guess I have backbone. I finally got a backbone. I tell my mother always told me I needed a backbone. So now I wouldn't do that. If you, I'm not waiting an hour and a half or something, nine months pregnant. So then they gave me amniocentesis to see if I was due. 
It came back. The test came back. Yes, you do. Well, I knew that. Stupid test. So then they said, okay, we'll give you another week. You're due. And of course, then I went on my own. But nowadays, they do things lots different. But now I'm not having babies anymore. So I can't even help anybody. Because one time I was breastfeeding. Well, I breastfed all my babies. And this one person was having troubles breastfeeding. And they knew I breastfed all my babies. So they called me to ask me some advice and ask for help. And I said, I don't know. I never had a problem. I just plopped the boob out. The kid nursed. Never had any problem with having milk or losing it or anything. I had more problems stopping than I did going. So I, I couldn't help them because I don't know what you do if you don't produce milk. Not everybody can, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, uh, I can only say what I know. And I didn't know. So, okay. That's all. I'm not going to try to entertain you anymore with anything else because when I do that it doesn't turn out well <laughs> okay the end